everybody. I am Charu Smita from Cambridge School Grade 7 and today I am here to teach you the steps of coding and building of the Talk to Me application. But here is the twist. Many people might have taught you how to do the steps in desktop or in laptop. But today I am going to teach you how to do this application in an Android. So before going to the steps, let me tell you what is this application. Talk to me application is a hilarious, funny and an entertaining app in which the phone literally talks to you. This app helps in giving you the correct pronunciation of the word. You can just type the spelling of that word and the app gives you the pronunciation. So now, let's go to the steps of coding and building of talk to me application. Go to Google and click on address bar and type www stemdc.in so here it is given sign in with google so i click on it so this is the page where it will uh, it will show you what all projects you have created till now so now what project we are going to create talk to me so at the top left corner you will have start new project and type the project name Talk to me. What is it showing here? Project names cannot contain spaces. Yes. So, we will put it as talk underscore to underscore me. And I click on OK. So, here is the talk to me project. and click on the project name and we will get a project so here are the many here are many sections the viewer the palette section the viewer section the component section the media section and the property section then now from un, uh, under the palette section in the user interface i want to drag text box but I don't know whether here here only the text box will be there or anywhere else and I don't know. So here is the option name search components. So you can just type the name of that component and here is the component. So I drag the component here. Then I want to drag a, a component name button. So if you want you can type it here again and under the user interface at the top at the very first is the button option then now i need an option name text to speech so under this palette you might have observed there is user interface qtpi mega blocks layout and many more so under the media If you want, you can type the name or you can do it like this. Text to speech. So it, is, it comes under non-visible components. Next, I don't want the name text for button. So I'll rename it. So the old button is, it's a, the old name is button 1 and the new name is speak. So here it is renamed, but here it is not renamed. So there is another place where you have to rename it. So at the right corner, at the right under the properties section, here is option name text. So you have to rename it there also. Speak. So now it is renamed under the, uh, uh, in two places. Now. Do you think that the text box and the speak option is uh, at, at the uh, corner? Okay, then let's align it. So under the component section, click on screen one. Then uh, in align horizontal, there is left, center and right. So this is the left part. Okay, do you want me to give it center? And the people who want to give it in right, they can give it so let me give it in center 
then in a line vertical there is top center and bottom if you want to give it at top okay i am giving it in center now many people might think the um, it is very, it's too blank i want to add something to make it look more decorative okay then under the media there is upload file option choose file but for this you need to download a image from google so here is a floral design which i have downloaded so i click on that and here is the name of the file so i click on okay and another place where you have to um insert the image so under the property section here is the background image so again upload file choose file and here is the floral design so see here is the image inserted so now we are done uh, we are done um, everything in the design section now let's go to the block section now here are uh, now under the um, now this is the blocks where under the built in these are the things these things will be found in any project which you are creating and you notice the screen text box speak and text to speech option the, these are the components which we dragged and used it so from the speak option the very first option when speak click do drag it and put it here next under the text box under the text to speech the third option which is in purple color call text to speech one speak message so drag it and put it under the option which we dragged first then go to text box one there you can click on um the first one uh, the third one that is the text box one background color but i don't need background color so here is a drop down list there click on text and put it to the side of the option which we drag sec so here is a, here is our coding part completed then you need to scan a qr code so that you can view the result so here at the top is the build option click on that provide qr code uh, qr code for apk and another option app save dot apk to my computer so click on the first option and the qr code will come yes it came now now you, you have to scan the qr code using a app that app name is mit app to inventor scan qr code and here is the code and i scan it and then it will download that file first and it click on install and it is installing the your application and the app is installed now do you want the, do you want to see the final result okay then let me show you so here is the design and here are the components which we did so hint for text box one so here you have to type any word or any sentence so here i have typed welcome to the talk to me application so i click on speak welcome to talk to me application see we have got the final result so the so this is a exciting way where you all can do this and have fun in getting the result i hope you all learn the steps of coding and building the talk to me application i know now everyone will try it thank you for watching my video